Okay. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, I work for a local school bus company as an attendant, helping take care of and board special needs children, be it kids in wheelchairs, Down syndrome kids, blind, deaf, autistic children, children with Asperger's, even children who just have trouble sitting up, and we have special things to help them sit up. <clears throat> well, today was our day to go in a bit on a route. I sat there, see, so I got there about 9 o'clock, sat there for about two hours while drivers picked their routes. See, yeah, they call it a bid. It's like, okay, here's this route. Who can do it in the least amount of hours? It's yours. No, it's, they don't bid on a route. They just come in. Whoever is the highest on the seniority list, they have a choice of all the routes laid out on the table. From a dinky little two and a half, three hour route, to I think the longest one is like six and a half hours. <clears throat> all the drivers got their routes. Then it starts with attendance. You know, people like me that help manage the kids on the bus. Now, mind you, not all the routes have attendance. Well, there were a total of 54, excuse me, attendant positions available. Guess where I fall on the seniority list? 58. <clears throat> so an entire summer of waiting for this day to show up, only to find out I am still on sub-status. I am not a full-time employee. You know, even if I only had a three-hour route, I would be considered a full-time because I would be there every day for my route to do my job. <clears throat> and also because of that, I don't get the medical insurance. I don't get 401k. I don't even get life insurance. I was told by one guy there, he was, you know, he did his training all that stuff, got a certification three years ago. Didn't become an official full-time employee until a year and a half ago. So that's a little disconcerting for me there. But, you know, long-range rifle, clock tower, I'm pretty sure I can move up in the ranks. No, I'm kidding. I would not do that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's my story for the day. Um, I'll probably get back into vlogging a little more regularly. I've been neglecting it, just been enjoying my summer. So, anyway, that's my vlog of the day, Monday, uh, August 20th, 2012. I don't know what time it is, can't see it from here, but I don't care. Doesn't matter. Anyway, bye everybody.